car vlog, car vlog. I'm in the car at my break at work. Car vlog, car vlog. <laughs> So welcome back to M's Car Vlogs. Uh, like I said in my song, I am uh, on my break during my lunch and I didn't want to be in the teacher's lounge because uh, you know, I'm that uh, preschool teacher life, so that's pretty fun. So while I am doing this vlog, I'm probably going to be eating some of my lunch because it is my lunch break. So if you see me eating, um, yeah, that's just what's gonna happen. What is on my face? Oh, it's a shadow attractive real good so do you ever just wake up in the morning and then you're already just done for the entire day so that's been today and today has not been a really good planning day for me i woke up and i planned to take a shower this morning and then that didn't happen because i just watched more episodes of bob's burgers i also was gonna make my lunch the night before and i forgot about that too so i had to make like scramble something together for my lunch today. Ultimately that made me late for work too. So nothing has really been planned well for me today except for one thing. My shirt which is you know aliens with the claw toy story and also my shoes. Do you see that aliens? Yeah. So at least I got something going for me right now. And also side note um my car is very messy so if you see a lot of things just in my car um, it matches my life. Just a giant mess. But you can always find something that you need. My car is like a boy scout. It's always prepared. <laughs> I made a grilled cheese sandwich for my lunch today. There's also like turkey and salami and stuff in it. I don't know if that really still classifies as a grilled cheese when there's other things in it, but and there's melty cheese on it and that's pretty much the main factor. Yeah, this is this is the reason that I was late for work because I just really wanted a grilled cheese sandwich for my lunch. It's all about the cheese, really. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about my, one of my favorite stories about myself. Wow, could that sound any more conceited? I'm just realizing it now that I'm saying it out loud. You know how people have like senior ditch days that they do? Well, I was homeschooled growing up. I, me and two of my friends still really wanted to have a senior ditch day. We decided to skip school on that Friday because then otherwise it's like, why would we skip school from just being homeschooled from just being at home? Wow, that made no sense. But you know, I'm just gonna keep going with it. Yeah. And we skip, a lot of people when they skip school, they go to like uh, theme parks and like fun things like that. We skipped school to go do another schoolish activity <laughs> and we just went to different museums in LA. We went to ultimately three different museums. One was the Holocaust Museum and the next one was, I forgot what the other one was. I think it was like the Getty or something. I, I forgot what that one was. And then the last one was LACMA, which is the LA Museum of Modern Art. Whenever I go to museums, you know, being the super funny person that I am, I like to comment on the art, like with my friends, and try to make them laugh. When I was commenting on the art, there was a guy who uh, brushed up against me, kind of like nudged me to get out of the way. So the guy that brushed up into me, I looked over to see who is this guy that just did that, and it was Nick freaking Jonas. Yeah, from the Jonas Brothers and I was the biggest Jonas Brothers fan and my 14 year old me like that came out again and I almost died. So he brushed up against me. I was freaking out. This other girl that I was with was also freaking out because she liked the Joe Bros also back in the day. Apparently according to my friend I started commenting even louder on the art like without, I didn't even realize this was happening, but I started commenting louder on all of the art and the sculptures that we were seeing. Oh, also side note, he was, it was Nick Jonas with Kevin Jonas. I know, uh, not even like the good one. Um, Joe Jonas was not there. And then there was some other random friend who I didn't know who he was. So there was, in one room, there was a statue in the middle of the room and we all congregated around it looking at the statue. I said something that was really funny. I have no idea what I said, but I said something that was really funny and Nick Jonas laughed. 
Nick Jonas laughed at my joke. I don't know what I said. Oh my God. Like he did not have to laugh at me at all. And he did. So if uh, the sparks were flying, they were flying like hardcore. That art almost caught on fire with how many sparks was just flying everywhere. And if that's not meant to be, then I don't know what is. Cause like clearly um, me and Nick Jonas are gonna get married. Okay. After the whole like laughing at me because I'm so hilarious and everything. Uh, Nick Jonas and everyone else like kind of went to a different room. They started exiting the what's it called museum. Uh, we kind of let them go, and then we decided, hey, why the hell did we do that? Let's like go kind of casually stalk them a little bit again. But we couldn't find them again, and it was very sad. We looked all over the museum, and we didn't see them again. I know that we'll meet again, cause you know it's just it's just meant to be. We're meant to be with Nick Jonas, obviously. I'm sorry for my boyfriend that <laughs> watches this video, but you know, Nick Jonas though. But I still, I still love you too, babe. I will just love both of you guys. <laughs> I hope that everyone has a really good rest of their day. I'm going to finish up my lunch for my break right now. And I hope to see you soon. I think that next week is Hannah's video. So that should be real good. And bye wafflers.